Thanks, guys. Margaritaville isn't a place, it's a state of mind. Big league state of mind for Colt Keith and Justin Henry Malloy in Seattle while the hens and bats wrap Margaritaville weekend. Nick Maton drove in the first run on a fielder's choice and it's all down or up and out from there. Nick Martini defying gravity in the fourth as Jimmy Buffett and Jesse Winchester would say. Two run shot puts the bats up 3-1 on Zach Logue's first pitch. Not much better for Braden Bristow. Stuart Fairchild singles in a pair there in the fifth. Part of a four run inning. We couldn't laugh, we would all go insane. Another four run inning for Louisville in the sixth. Martini again, three runs batted in. Tyler Nevin waits until the ninth to do his damage. Solo shot in a 12-2 loss. Come Monday, everything will be all right. A bunch of off days coming up for our All-Stars. Matt Melzak, Jim Weber, and everybody else. All right, thanks back out here at Fifth Third Field. Uh, Jim, this one uh, started with some promise. Mud Hens had the early lead. But once that Louisville machine got cranked up in the fourth inning, they didn't look back. Yeah, they put a couple of big fours on the board. Next thing you know, you're losing 12 to two. But you know what, in a game like this, I don't think it bothers too many people. I mean, you get beat bad, it's, it's a lot worse when you lose four to three or three to two or something close, like the Tigers did today. So, I mean, that's just uh, one of those things. It's just uh, L. The Mud Hens still get the uh, split in the series, three games apiece against Louisville. And you've talked about this many, many a year. You're going to have some games. Some of these go your way. Some of yep. them don't go your way. I figure 20 to 30 are going to be one-sided games, and you want to hope, as I said, that you win more than you lose. Yeah, if that happens, you usually end up with a pretty good record. Mud Hens do split the series. They're off for a short trip to Buffalo, just three games coming up this weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday after the four-day All-Star break. Yeah, one bright spot at the end. Phil Nevin homers for the second straight day. That gave the Mud Hens two runs and a 12-2 loss. But so he's, uh, you know, he's coming around. A couple home runs in two days. Yeah, back-to-back -back homers for Tyler Nevin. Great job as always by him, Phil's son. Yes. Love you. Give credit to Phil. He would hit some homers too. Oh yeah, he was here for three years. But yeah. he uh, certainly loves seeing his son throwing out some long balls. That's a story from out here at Fifth Third Field. Send it back to you now in the studio.